Most of you would have died living this type of life I live. You never did a drive by before, all for the love of revenge. Or had a nigga die from an overdose off of drugs and pills that you love and grew up with. I remember me, Nick, and Ping Pong control the traffic on the back road right there on the corner in front of Skint Molem Crib. Now both of them gone and probably never come home again. Ping got life for killing three people and Nick got life plus ten. So it's no way you whole niggas feel as much pain as I feel. That's why every day I pray to the Lord above and ask him to continue to guide me around all this devilish sin. They say we live in life in hell cause of the one Adam and Eve committed and did. So maybe death really is when the journey of life actually begin. And this passion I have for rapping and writing been just like this since I was a kid. And how can I forget August 2017, that day I got the worst call ever from my mama. She was trying to talk to me and tell me something about my Uncle Neil. I was like, he must have got locked up again. But that's when she just interrupted me and said they found him dead this morning. At first I couldn't talk, couldn't say nothing. I didn't even know what to think. Then after a short moment, all I said was, Mama, he was just with me this morning between one and three. Then she just hung up the phone, and that's when I lost control of my emotions, and tears just started rolling down my cheeks. I needed to just go somewhere and get some fresh air, so I took off and walked up the streets. That really broke my heart into a hundred pieces. For real, that shit hurt me emotionally, and it always will as long as I live and breathe. Crazy. Crazy.